magandang araw sa inyo. Uh, nandito na naman tayo sa ano, discussion ng information management. And uh, for this sem, ano, ito na yung ano, last video lecture ko. Um, okay, and uh, the topic will be ano, database management and SQL. So, dito sa topic na ito, uh, we'll be discussing the definition of data, database, and database management systems. And then, uh, titignan din natin yung types ng DBMS or database management systems. Uh, titignan din natin yung SQL at saka NoSQL. And why it makes sense to learn SQL after uh, learning NoSQL. Okay, uh, next slide. So, ano nga ba yung data? In simple words, data can be facts related to any object in consideration. For example, your name, age, height, weight, etc. Uh, these are some data related to you. Uh, data can also be considered uh, yung mga pictures, it is an image, or PDF files. Okay. So, as, uh, as long as ano, uh, it can be uh, collected and put into a file or a table and ano data yan wala pang meaning yan ano we need to process them uh, those data para magkaroon ng meaning pero as of now et, uh, ito yung mga uh, data na kinokolect natin from uh, everyday transactions next uh, ano naman yung database a database is a systematic collection of data uh, databases support the storage and manipulation of data. This makes data management easy. So, dun sa mga, dun sa pinag-usapan natin yun, number one, hindi lang basta data ang database, ano? It is a systematic collection of data. So, kinolekta mo yung data and then, uh, inarrange mo na in some manner. Uh, by the way, ano, related dito sa database yung pinag-aralan natin before or pinag-aralan nyo before na uh, so, meron uh, related ito sa discrete math na pinag-aralan ninyo at saka yung ano, no? uh, data structures. Ayan. So, yung data structures, uh, yan yung ginagamit para may organize ang pagkukollect ng mga data. And hindi lang basta yung collection or storage ng data, uh, kundi yung kung paano imaman yung i-manipulate yung data kasama yan sa ano uh, concept ng database. So ano yung mga examples ng databases in our daily or everyday life? Yung telephone directory, yung nasa cellphones natin. So it uses the database to store pertaining uh, data pertaining to people like uh, their names, form, fo uh, phone numbers and other contact details. Uh kagaya ng address ganyan. Then, uh, sinong, ano, sinong mga businesses yung gumagamit ng database? So, isang pa possibility, yung electric service provider natin, yung Meralco. They will be using database to manage our billing information. Uh, pagka may mga issues tayo, tinawag sa kanila, it can also be uh, put in a, their database, company database. Uh, then, pagka nagkaroon ng, ano, uh, bagyo or kung ano mang sakuna, nasira yung mga uh, dinadaanan na kuryente, these are faults. So, yung mga data related doon, uh, in-store din nila for ano, costing probably. So, ayun. Ang importante, inililista nila yung mga data for future use and reference. And also, let us consider yung application na Facebook. Uh, it needs to store, uh, store, manipulate, and present data to related members, their friends, member activities, messages, advertisements, and a lot more. So, yan, gumagamit sila ng database. Uh, we, ca uh, we can provide countless number of examples of usage of databases. So, ano naman yung ano, uh, database management systems or DBMS? So, a DBMS is a collection of programs which enable, enables its users to access databases, manipulate data, and create reports to represent the data. It also helps control access uh, to the database. 
uh, the BMS is not new a new concept and as such uh, had been first implemented in the 1960s. Uh, Charles Bachman, uh, Bachman's in, uh, Integrated Data Store or IDS is said to be the first uh, database management in history. And so, ano no? Marami ng forms ng ano ng databases, yung mga una mga flat databases lang. Uh, kagaya ng spreadsheets, yung Excel or Google Sheets. Uh, and before the Excel and Google Sheets, ang ginagamit lang natin is mga text files. From text files, naging comma-separated value. So, yung mga data, sinaseparate gamit ng comma. Ayan. So, after that, nagkaroon ng IDS. Then, kami sa real estate, uh, in particular sa US, dito sa Philippines, hindi pa uso eh. Yung Information Data Exchange, IDX, ginagamit sa real estate yon. May ano kasi ako, no? may negosyo na real estate. Then with the ba- passing time, database technologies evolved a lot while usage and ex- expected functionalities of databases have been increased immensely. So lumaki yung mga volume ng, ano, no, ng data, uh, pati yung mga sources, mga devices na pang-gather, dumami din. Uh, and yung different types ng data na kinukolek, na lumaki na rin. Like uh, uh, ngayon, ang bilis na mga kolekta ng mga images, ng mga videos, uh, voice, uh, uh, etc. So, no? uh, ngayon kasi, si- yung sukat ng katawan, mabilis nang iscan. Uh, ayan. Okay. Types of DBMS. Let's see how DBMS family got evolved uh, with the time. Following diagram shows the evolution of the DBMS. Ayan. So, yung pinakakaliwa, ito yung pinakaluma. Then, yung na, nasa pinakakanan, ito yung most likely latest. Hindi natin alam kung may naimbento ng bago. So, yung una, navigational DBMS. Ibig sabihin, um, yung from the flat database, mas mabilis nang mag, ano, navigate, mabilis mag-search. Uh, kasi nung una, ang, ano eh, talagang ibab mag ano ka uh, titingnan bawat data so ang tagal mag process ng data before then nagkaroon ng navigational and then nagkaroon ng relational database management uh, database management system or RDBMS then after that na also yung SQL DBMS nagkaroon ng standard na SQL and then ngayon object oriented uh, database management na so yung data are uh, represented uh, represented as objects na mayroong attributes at saka may uh, methods or uh, way of do- doing things. Ayan. So, ayan. so, yun yung papano nag-evolve ang database management system. Dito naman sa susunod na slide, meron tayong tinatawag na four major types of uh, database management systems. Uh, in terms of application naman to. So, number one, hierarchical DBMS. Tingnan natin later kung anong, uh, how it looked. Then, network da- database management system. Then, uh, relational. And then, lastly, uh, object-oriented relational da- da- database management systems. And hierarchical DBMS, this type of DBMS employs uh, the parent-child relationship of storing data. This type of DBMS are real, uh, is really used now, nowadays. Ano? So, kung makita nyo dito sa kanan, bali, ayan yung isang example ng hierarchical database. So, nagsimula tayo sa root. Then, root is yung pinaka-parent or kalululohan ng lahat ng data na nasa ilalim. Then, yung relationship niya, pababa. Ayan. So, Ito yung hierarchical. Its structure is like a tree with nodes representing records and branches, representing fields. The Windows registry used in Windows XP is an example of a hierarchical database. Configuration settings are stored as tree structures with nodes. So, ano no? Ayan, uh, Windows XP gumagamit pa ng ganyan. Okay. Next is yung network da- uh, database management system. 
So, unlike yung hierarchical, ano, uh, pwedeng, ayan, hindi siya parent-child, pero uh, nagkakaroon ng one-to-many na relationships. Ayan, or many-to-many relationships. And this type of uh, database management systems supports many-to-many relationships. So, yun yung, ano niya, no? Uh, distinguishing feature. Uh, yun kasi kaninang sa hierarchical, one parent, pwedeng maraming children. Basta one is too many. Ito, pwedeng, ano, uh, many to one or uh, many to many. nag accept siya ng many to many relationship. This usually results in complex database structures. Ang isang example ng uh, ng network DBMS ay yung tinatawag na RIMA Database Manager or RDM Server. Yan. So, tandaan na, no? Uh, network Database Management System supports many-to-many relationships. Yun namang susunod is Relational DBMS or RDBMS. Uh, this defines database relationships in the form of tables, also known as relations. Uh, entity relations, unlike network, network DBMS, RDBMS does not support many-to-many relationships. So, ano lang yung supported niya? One-to-one, many-to-one, one-to-many. Pero yung many-to-many, hindi. Uh, pero unlike, ano no, hierarchical, uh, ang RDBMS kasi, hindi, walang parent-child relationship. And walang Uh, walang mataas, walang mababa. Pantay-pantay lang. Ang, tan- ang tanong lang is uh, yung en- isang entity related ba sa another entity. Ayan. So, relational DBMS usually have predefined data types that they can support. Uh, this, the mo- this is the most popular DBMS type in the market. Examples of relational database management systems include MySQL or a Oracle and Microsoft SQL Server Databases. Ayan. So, yun yung, ano no, uh, RDBMS, Relational Database Management System. And then, yung pinaka-latest is yung Object-Oriented Relational DBMS. So, in short, ORDB. Wala na yung MS, ano, ORDB lang. Object-Oriented Relational Database. This type supports storage of new data types. The data to be stored is in the form of objects. The objects to be stored in the database have attributes, for example, gender, age, name, address, etc. And methods that define what to do with the data. For example, uh, meron kang birth date. Tapos may, yun yung ano mo, uh, attribute. Then gawin mo na lang method yung get age para... Uh, pag nabago yung ano, date to day, at nababago din yung age. Ayan. So, laging updated yung age. So, PostgreSQL is an example of a, an ORDB or Object relate, Oriented relate, Relational Database Management System. Okay, so ano naman yung tinatawag na SQL? Actually, pinag-aralan natin ito sa laboratory. Ang SQL, it means Structured Query Language. So, it's pronounced as SQL. Yung SQL, hindi pwedeng tawagin yung SQL na SQL. Ha? Kasi yung SQL, is a, it is a brand of database management system. Uh, how do I know? Ito kasi yung SQL, uh, ito yung ginagamit ko before sa IRI nung nag-OJT ako nung uh, nag-college ako, no? Santa Cruz din ako ano nun, na nagtapos ng ladderized na computer science, STI Santa Cruz. Okay? Next is, uh, and what is SQL pa rin? SQL syntaxes used in different brands of RDBMS are almost similar. Ayun, yung SQL kasi, standard yon Pero parang kagaya ng Tagalog, meron pa rin, ano, uh, may pagkakaiba pa rin na dialect. Like, merong words na ginagamit tayo dito sa Santa Cruz. 
nagkarlan na pag pumunta ka sa Batangas, hindi nila ginagamit yung salita na yun. Uh, and also, yung sa Batangas, hindi natin ginagamit. Even yung sa Cavite, yung Tagalog nila, meron silang Tagalog doon na hindi natin ginagamit. So parang ganun lang. Pare-parehong Tagalog, pero may pagkakaiba sa mga ginagamit na salita. Yun din, ganun din yung, ano, yung SQL. SQL yung standard, it is the language. Pero yung brands, may proprietary reserved words sa mga ibang brands na hindi ginagamit sa iba. Yung, kung baga, may ginagamit sa MySQL na pagka implement mo sa Microsoft SQL, iba na yung uh, word na gagamitin mo. So, ano ba yung example na statement ng ano, SQL? Ito, example, at very popular na reserved word ng SQL is yung select na keyword. Ayan, select all uh, all columns or all attributes from members where age is greater than 30. Ayan. So, ito yung example ng SQL. Kung gusto nyo pang matutunan itong SQL, please go to our ano, video lecture on SQL. Ayan. May na-discuss na tayong dalawang topics, yung uh, ano tawag dito? Data Definition Language at saka Data Manipulation Language, DDL at saka DML. Okay, so susunod naman, ano ba yung NoSQL? NoSQL is an upcoming category of database management systems. Its main characteristics characteristic is its not non-adherence to re relational database concepts. Uh, NoSQL means not only SQL. So, concept of NoSQL databases grew with the internet uh, giants such as Google, Facebook, Amazon, who deal with uh, gigantic volumes of data. Uh, when you use relational database for massive volumes of data, the system starts getting slow in terms of response time. To overcome this, we could use, uh, we could of course scale up our systems by our upgrading our existing hardware. Diretso muna natin. Eh. The alternative to the above problem will be to distribute our database load on multiple hosts as load increases. This is also known as uh, scaling out. So, no SQL databases are non-relational databases that scale out better than relational databases and are designed with web applications in mind. And they do not use SQL to query the data and do not follow strict schemas like relational models with no SQL, uh, acid or atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability features are not guaranteed. Ayan. So, ano no? Uh, magkaiba ang SQL at saka no SQL. Ang SQL gagamitin mo pagka hindi masyadong kumbaga ganun ka ano ganun ka big deal ang uh, scale ng data, yung volume ng data. Uh, halimbawa, mga, mga kailangan mo lang is information, mga text, uh, hindi masyado yung... Ang mga heavy users kasi ng, ano, ng volume is mga videos. Eh. Ayan, videos, images. Ayan. Pagka hindi heavy sa ganun, SQL ka na lang. Pero pagka meron ka ng mga files na yung itatago mo, malalaking, ano na, malalaking objects na, so no SQL ka na lang. Uh, ang maganda sa SQL kasi, yung data security, ayun, yung atomicity, consistency, isolation, sa saka durability, kaya mong i-ano yun, uh, i-guarantee sa SQL na RDBMS. Pero yung no SQL, ayun, hindi mo ano yun, hindi mo magagaranti. So lagot yung ano mo, lagot yung uh, data mo. Pwedeng may redundancy diyan or something. Um uh, ayun. Uh, ang maganda naman dito, pwedeng mo i-distribute sa multiple locations na wala kang problema. Ayun. So scale or uh, yun nga yung acid ang pagpipilian mo. Pag importante yung acid, then SQL. Pag kahit di importante, no SQL. Why it makes sense to learn no SQL after SQL? 
Uh, with the advantages of NoSQL databases outlined above, the scale out uh, that scale out better than relational models, you might be thinking, why no why one would still want to learn about SQL database? Well, NoSQL databases are a sort of highly specialized systems and have their special usage and limitations. NoSQL suit suit more for those who handle huge volume data. Uh, the vast majority use relational databases and uh, associated tools. So, ayun. so volume versus uh, need for volume management versus ACID. Yun yung pagpipilian natin. So, another uh, uh, points con to consider. Relational databases have the following advantages over no SQL database. So, SQL uh, meron siyang mature data storage and management model. Yeah. So, kung ang business mo or client mo is uh, enterprise business, better yung SQL. Ayan. Tapos, merong ano, no? view authorization, uh, edit authorization as SQL. So, SQL databases support no uh, the notion of views which allow users to only see the data that they are authorized to view. The data that that they are not authorized to see are kept hidden from them. Ayan. So, yung security ng data ay naandun sa SQL. Uh, SQL databases support stored procedure SQL, which allow database developers to implement part of the business logic into the databases. Uh, no to... Wala kasi ano, eh, dalawang businesses na magkapareho ng mga ginagawa. May magkaibang ano dyan may magkaibang ano tawag dito uh, customs per per business so uh, ayun actually kung if you have heard yung tinatawag na SAP uh, it is an ano no enterprise uh, enterprise uh, application bali ang problema sa SAP is that uh, meron siyang sariling ano, uh, business logic na kung gusto mo siyang gamitin, babaguhin mo yung paano mo ginagawa yung business mo. Which is maraming, ano, maraming businesses actually ang nahihirapan. That's why they, ano, they go to other ano, uh, enterprise uh, management softwares kagaya ng uh, Microsoft Dynamics at saka yung uh, ang pinakamalaking kalaban ngayon ng SAP is uh, Salesforce. Ayan. Yung yung kasing dalawang yun ay pwedeng i ano no, i tweak, pwedeng i modify uh, para customized para sa yung business. Ayan. So yung enterprise naman, ito yung mga ano no, ito yung mga businesses na ang mga regular employees mo ay hindi bababa ng 100 employees. Pero normally bibili ka ng SAP or Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics pagka uh, more than 500 na or 1,000 yung regular employees mo. Yan. SQL databases have better security models compared to no SQL databases. Uh, the world has not deviated from the use of relational databases. There's gr uh, growing demand for professionals who can handle relational databases. So, ano no? Pag pinag-aralan natin yung SQL, marami pa rin trabaho ang nag sa inyo. Thus, learning database and SQL still holds merit. So, for future reference, maganda mag-aral ng SQL, pero importante pa rin yung uh, SQL. So, in summary, yung mga pinag-usapan natin kanina, uh, DBMS uh, stands for Database Management System. We have four major types of DBMS namely hierarchical network relation, relational object and object oriented the most widely used dbms is the relational model that saves data in table formats it uses sql as the standard query language sql language or sql is used to query a database the database approach has many advantages when it comes to storing data compared to the traditional flat file-based systems. Ayan. So, ang wala lang dito is yung SQL at saka no SQL. Okay. So, that's it. Uh, hopefully, you can ano, 
uh, submit all requirements before the deadline for this for this sem ano, para mabilis natin mailabas yung grade. And with that, uh, thank you and God bless you.